Hi, Ashley here with hearthookhome.com and today we are learning how to crochet the half double crochet in the third loop only. This is a very fun, very easy stitch. If you can make the half double crochet, you can make this stitch as well. It creates this beautiful ridge going across. So every other row, we've got this beautiful ridge. You can see that it is reversible. When you flip it over, it looks almost exactly the same and it is just beautiful. It's very easy to do. So let's learn how to do this worked in flat rows and worked in rounds. So this one is worked, it's the same exact stitch, but this is worked in the round in a spiral without turning and without joining. So you can see how it's got these much more dense, condensed ridges. It has a much more knit look than it does when worked flat on the left here. So let's learn how to do the half double crochet in the third loop only. In order to work the half double crochet in the third loop only, you can start with any number of chains. I'm going to start with a row of half double crochet stitches. So I'm going to work into the second chain from the hook and just make a regular half double crochet. We need this first row so that we can work into the third loop on the subsequent rows. You'll notice that as you create the half double crochet stitch, you're creating this yarn over here, which creates what is known as the third loop. So as we are crocheting along, we have the front loop here, and we have the back loop here, and then if you rotate it a little bit, we've got this third loop that runs across the back, and that is what we are going to work into in the future rows. So I'm going to continue doing my half double crochet, all the way to the end of this chain. And now I have this row of half double crochet stitches that we can use to crochet into. So I'm going to chain one and turn. You can see that this third loop now is on the surface of our work here going across this horizontal line. Now we're just going to do a regular half double crochet stitch, but we're going to do it only into this third loop here. So make your half double crochet and just into this loop right here only complete that stitch, make your next stitch in that third loop only, and just continue all the way across the row. Every time you turn, you're just going to continue working into that third loop only right there. It's a very quick, very mindless, very beautiful stitch. When you get to the end here, you will notice that this one's kind of at a slant or kind of hidden in the back. You may need to look at the front here and you'll notice that you've got your front loop and your back loop and then your third loop is going to be this one right here. Or you can mark this with a stitch marker when you start these rows at the beginning until you're familiar with this stitch. But right here, it's nestled down kind of at a diagonal, and that is the third loop that we are going to use right there. Now you're going to chain one and turn, and now all of your third loops are now on the front of your work all the way across. And when you get to this final one over here, this is nestled down in right here. This is the third loop of that final stitch right there. So that is how you work it worked flat, turned in rows. Now when you're working this in a spiral or in the round, let's start that. You will either need to start with a chain and join the chain and work a half double crochet foundation row into that chain or start with a row of half double crochet stitches like we just did for working it flat and then form a circle so that you can work into those stitches in a spiral going forward, right? So you can either start with a chain or with a row of half double crochet stitches. Here, I'm just going to get a portion ready for us. So now I'm going to work directly into this chain. Like I said, it does not matter as long as you have a row of half double crochet stitches to start. So I've gone ahead and moved my chain to where I can work into this first chain here. And I'm just going to do this first row 
as half double crochet stitches worked directly into that chain. When you get around to the beginning, you're going to reposition your work here so that you're worked in a circle just like this and you can see that i've just gone into this last stitch here now my next stitch is going to be this half double crochet right here but i'm going to work it into the third loop which is on the back side right here so there's no joining there's no turning there's no nothing i'm just going straight in to this third loop on the back side there and completing those half double crochets and now I'm just going to continue working in that third loop only and you can see that it kind of helps if you rotate the crochet toward you a little bit and have it kind of lay over your thumb because it exposes that third loop just a little bit better so where you can just get that hook right in there so continue going in a spiral I'll do a few more rounds or a couple more rounds you can see that when we get back around to where we started, we're just going to continue. There's always going to be a spiral motion, no joining or no turning. All right, so here we've got a little bit of height. I'm going to do a couple of more stitches to get back to where I started over here. And then we will talk about how to make the top look a little bit cleaner. So let's take a look at what we've got. You can see that the bottom, we've got this first row of half double crochet stitches. This is row two, this is row three, and this is row four. But you can see that row four kind of stands up a little bit taller than all of the rest. And you kind of want it to push down a little bit so that this looks a little bit more cohesive, right? So what I like to do before I fasten off, for good on this stitch i like to make a row of either single crochet or around either of single crochet also in this third loop only or slip stitches in that third loop only i feel like the single crochet keeps it from shrinking up on me too much usually with a slip stitch things can kind of tighten up a little bit so i do a row of single crochet just in that third loop and it helps to kind of push those loops down so that it looks more cohesive now when you're ready to fasten off i like to do a slip stitch in the next few stitches and then you can clip your yarn join it to this next stitch down here and you've got a more seamless join at the top as well. So I hope that you love this tutorial for working the half double crochet in the third loop only. I love this stitch. It's beautiful. You can use it for all sorts of things and I look forward to crocheting with you soon. Thanks for watching.